And then the most interesting group of people are those who give excuses. And I see so many of them in the war right now, probably including myself. Let me explain this with a story. So, there's a girl, her name is Sarah, and she has this best friend, Mark. Mark adores Sarah. Mark would die for Sarah. Mark loves Sarah despite her past, her problems. Mark would do anything just for the well-being of Sarah. But Sarah has a boyfriend. <laughs> but this boyfriend is a little bit different. He's a rare boy. He's a pop kid, as you guys say. He's well known and he's, yeah, very popular. So Sarah goes to Mark and, you know, she, she talks to Mark and she's like, you know, Mark, ah, Tom, like, you know, he just wants me for physical pleasure and he forces me to do things that I don't want to do and he just views me as a trophy. He wants to show me off when the time presents itself. Sometimes he won't even know me, but, you know, when we're at, at a special occasion, you know, he'll show me off. So then Tom, think, I mean, Mark's thinking, okay, well, what are you going to do about this, Sarah? And then Sarah says, you know, I, I need a nice guy. But Mark doesn't know that Sarah has this thing called bad, bad boy syndrome that many girls have. <laughs> serious, serious, serious. So Mark's thinking, well, if you, if you need a nice guy, like, I'm right here, like, for the cartoon, there'll be like red arrows pointing at the thing, ah, yeah, I'm um, here, yeah, have a thing. But no, Sarah chooses Tom, and that's, that's so sad. And this is more than just a story, because Mark represents Jesus Christ. Jesus will be there for you whenever. You can hate him, you can, you can call him whatever you want, but he'll still love you. And Tom represents the luxuries of this world. It promises so much. Hey, if you get a thousand followers, man, you're famous on Instagram. Come on. <laughs> if you get 200 likes, you know, you're actually doing something in life. But it's promising so much, but delivering so much pain. Because as I said, it's more than just a st story because you girls are Sarah. And no, I'm not telling you, no, get into a relationship and do this. Well, in fact, I am. I'm saying get into a relationship with Jesus Christ. Because so many of us have this option. The world or Jesus Christ, who am I, who am I going to be in relation with? We can't be in the middle, we have to choose one. But let me tell you what girls, even some guys do. Oh no, uh, Tom, you see, he gives me an adrenaline rush. I need to, you know, <laughs> enjoy my youth. I need to have fun, you know. Um, I need to make the most of my life like YOLO, man. Yeah, YOLO, you only live once for Christ, but you only live once to ruin your life. <laughs> So many people look at Christianity and just make excuses. No, I don't want to be serious with my life right now, but when I'm 27, I'll get baptized. <laughs> who, who promises 27 for you? Who promises that you're going to graduate high school? <laughs> it starts now. Getting right with Christ starts right now because there is no time. Mm. It starts right now. So don't make excuses about... Now I want to enjoy life, I want to party. Christianity is boring. What's so boring about speaking life into people, healing people, saving people? What's so boring about having a peace all day, every day? Do you guys just want to, I don't know, go, go, go out on a Saturday and then wake up and your head is sore? God knows why. <laughs> Excuses.